Josh, welcome to the cave. Thank you, Elias. Thanks for having me. Exciting times, man. The listeners and the viewers can watch your recent project that you've been behind the scenes for a while now. Also, uh, Apple TV Plus, Best Foot Forward. It's based off loosely off your life, correct? That's right. Yeah, it's uh, it's based off this period of my childhood when I was moving from I had been homeschooled uh, through my childhood and then I was going to the local public school. So it's about this boy who's making that transfer and he also happens to have a prosthetic leg. So the, the series premiered a few days ago. How excited are you now that it's finally out? Like the trailers have been all over social media for almost a couple months now. Little teasers, trailers. How does that make you feel? It's finally out. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, yeah, after after so many years of, of developing and writing the show for people to finally be able to watch this thing that we've created and to already just be getting so many messages from people who are like, I've binged the series or like I, are watching their second or third time through the season already. Right. It's like four days after it's been out. It's like awesome. You know, it's like that's that's the that's everything you hope for, you know, when you make a show. Yeah. Start, first of all, I want to like I watched a few episodes last night to get ready for this, and I love like the whole family culture and the adventures of Josh. How were you approached to turn the book, your memoir, into a series? Uh, there was a production company who came to me a few years ago with with that idea of of you know this is actually just like one chapter from from my book, which covers many years about yeah. that transfer to to a new school. And I thought, yeah, what a universal story. You know, it's like my what makes my story unique, uh, of course, is that. Josh has uh, one leg and he has a sense of humor about it. But the idea of going to a new school is, uh, is we've all felt that, it, even, mm -hmm. you know, through going to, literally to new schools, but we're all so to speak going to new schools all the time. So I, I love the universality of it. Mm -hmm. How, how did you like in the writing room, getting right you know, writing the script for this, turn that story into a script? You know, every episode in the series is kind of starts with, um, you know, some, some, you know, something exactly true that happened in my life. And then we kind of say, mm -hmm. okay, and how, how does that, um, play as a, as a comedic family comedy that takes 21 minutes. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, I think each thing is maybe what, what literally happened and then like sort of a, a, a twist to, to make it work more visually and dramatically. So for example, in the pilot, uh, you saw where, um, Josh on his first day of public school gets tripped by a bully. I really got tripped on my first day of public school by a bully, like after first period. However, my prosthetic leg did not pop off when that happened. Mm. But in our series, Josh's leg falls off. So I think each beat is kind of that and sort of figuring out then, you know, how does it involve all of our all of our characters and, and you know, what does it show visually about Josh? Mm. Growing up now, did you keep like a journal? Like, how do you remember all this that happened to you? Like, I can't remember things that happened to me 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, I don't. I I wrote the book uh, a long time ago. Now the book I wrote 14 years ago that the, okay. the series is based on. So in some ways, you know, that was closer to then. But you know, I, a lot of these are stories that I've been telling for a really long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I know a lot of the plots in the show are also based on stand up bits, which are right. you know right, maybe based on again like a really short story. But then it's mm -hmm. like kind of what are the jokes about it, and then. How does it turn into you know a story um, for our viewers? You mentioned you already had people that have been DMing you and emailing you about the show. Like, what do you like hope for when people tune in for the first time to watch this and uh, your experience working behind the set and even like just watching this come back to life, pretty much a second time around? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, hopefully, you know, what, what I most want to hear is like people are entertained, you know, uh, and, and when people say they want to watch it a second time, that's like the best compliment I think I could hear. Um, but, but I think what I'm especially excited uh, about when it happens is when uh, like when I hear from from amputees, you know, maybe people, um, young people who have um, uh, some kind of surgery like like I have had who are who are, you know, and I've seen a lot of messages like this who say, hey, wow, I, you know, I have one leg or whatever, and, and I've never I've never felt seen on screen. Because they're mm -hmm. like, I, you know, when I was growing up, I never saw someone who looked like me on TV or in movies. Um, and so so that's what we're trying to fix. And and seeing those messages, it's not necessarily our target audience, right. but it's, it's an audience that I know it's, uh, or I hope that the show is gonna be really special to. And so far, it, it seems like that's been the case. Now, throughout this series is like everything about what happened to you or have, or have you also made up a few extra things around the, the show? 
Yeah, you know, it's loosely based on my life, right? So it's like, yeah. uh, you know, um, uh, the, I, you know, I think my life serves as the inspiration to the extent that it is helpful to uh, to us as writers mm. in in making a, a fun and entertaining and relatable show about a twelve year old boy. Uh, mm. And but but we're not. Yeah, the goal isn't to make um, a biopic. Uh, and so you know, and and things like change a lot, right? It's like the the like morph, right? We had this idea for an episode about pranks with my artificial legs. I always as a kid loved to do pranks with my prosthesis. But then mm -hmm. that that story morphed and there was a bunch of pranks and then there was like games and then the episode became a field day episode. And now it's about field day and it has nothing to do with the pranks anymore. Uh, <laughs> so you know it's you know what we're trying to do first and foremost is tell good stories. Um, you know, we're not making a, a claim to adhere uh, exactly to to my my life story. Have you had friends or family message you and say to you like, oh my God, I remember this or something similar to that yeah yes actually one of my friends from high school just um uh texted me yesterday about like because he actually he knew the guy who tripped me um okay. that first day of school and so yeah he was he was saying like oh man i was just watching and i turned to my wife and i was like i knew the kid who tripped him uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was kind of yeah. funny uh now the, the real question of course is will the kid who tripped me will he actually watch it uh, and, and will he DM me that, that remains to be seen. What, uh, how did you go now about casting the perfect Josh? Well, we found Josh. That. Yeah, we, we, I mean, you know, we knew very precisely that we wanted Josh to have a prosthetic leg and he needed to look 12 and he needed to be a good doctor. And that's a, that's a tall order to find someone that specific. We actually mm -hmm. found our Josh, uh, through my social media. We did a, a casting call, um, and, and searched very widely and found a number of great candidates, but but Logan specifically came from my Instagram and from an Instagram post I did. Wow. And he had, he had never acted before um, in his life, never had interest in it, but just kind of thought thought it sounded interesting and tried out. And, um, you know, he's so talented as, as you, uh, I think will agree after having watched a couple episodes. Yeah. What, uh, what's his thoughts now? Does he want to stick with acting? You know, he, uh, his number one passion is baseball. So okay. I think um, he is open to acting to the extent maybe that it doesn't interrupt his, uh, his baseball. And ultimately, though, he's, he wants to be a surgeon and is still, I think, intent on, on that career rather than acting. Uh, much to the chagrin, I think, of his, his acting agent now, who, uh, <laughs> who has a lot of work for him um, that, that uh, in his mind, I think, would interrupt baseball season. <laughs> did he did he ask any advice to you how to play you pretty much um i you know i think to the extent that there was advice conversations before it was more about like um com you know comfort level with like being on camera and being on a set and memorizing lines uh, you know because we weren't necessarily you know i think if anything we were looking for a, a kid who embodied who we already imagined josh to be mm -hmm. so in that sense like that was part of what we loved about him. He's like such a good actor, but he clearly has that personality. So if anything, we were just, we wanted him to be himself on mm -hmm. screen because um, because that's what we want to shine through. That's what we want people to see. No, I wasn't 100% sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Was that you in the clip, in the doc, like in the doctor's area? Oh yeah, yeah, that's me. I I, I play Josh's prosthetist. That's the guy okay. who who makes the prosthetic limbs. So yeah, we, I guess got to sneak in as a, uh, a minor character who pops up in a couple episodes. Yeah. Was that, was that always the goal or did somebody say, Hey, you should try to have a little part in this. We had talked about having me in, um, in second season. Uh, initially there was, we were going to shoot 20 episodes, two seasons at once. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it was one season, we weren't sure, but then I, you know, I saw, I, because, you know, because an important part of the series is Josh is the only kid at his school who has one leg. So I can't be like a teacher or whatever, because right. that changes the, all the, the elements of the story. But I thought, oh, you know, it makes so much sense to, uh, for him to be prosthetist because prosthetists very often actually do have some kind of limb difference. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it also puts me, you know, real life Josh in the unique position, uh, and which I think is delightful to, to viewers and fans of mine to see like me being kind of this mentor figure in uh in you know in josh the character's life right so um yeah so it was cool you know it's uh i i had audition you know we pitched the idea to apple and they're like great but you know audition show us the thing and you know wow. i just had to go through the same normal process through our our, <laughs> our uh um our casting uh team and everything but uh you know 
fortunately I got the part. So, <laughs> <laughs> so 10 episodes, how long did it take you to put the series together? And what was your favorite moment? You think we were developing the show for three years and then we had a writer's room for about 20 weeks and then we mm. shot, we were in production for uh, three months last fall. Um, my favorite moment was, was probably, yeah, playing, uh, Josh, uh, or, or you know, playing, playing the prost. It's so confusing. There's so many Joshes, um, <laughs> uh, playing the prosthetist, uh, in a scene with, with Logan as Josh, you know, just to be able to, to do a scene where I'm, you know, literally giving advice to my younger self, mm -hmm. a scene that I got to be a part of writing, you know, and, and, and writing literally the advice that I might give to myself, could I go and talk to, to Josh at that age? And, and I got to do that, uh, you know, on camera as part of the series. Like that's, that's a pretty special experience, I think, to have. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned earlier that possibly for a season two? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we hope so. Uh, you know, it obviously, it depends on, on the reception to the show and, and whether um, Apple TV Plus wants to make more. But I think um, we, the, uh, the writers and producers of the show, would, would love to continue to explore Josh's uh, life. You know, the series just covers the fall semester of seventh grade. So, okay. you know, we'd love to see him continue to get older and try new activities. And, um, you know, in, in my real life, I became a ski racer and a motivational speaker when I was a teenager. So we'd, we'd yeah. love to see him grow into some of those roles as well. So you have stories backed up. You can keep going with this for a while. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, I'm 37. So I got like 25 more years worth of stories uh, <laughs> ready to go. But yeah, specifically, you know, in my, my teen years and, and in the what I've covered in, in the book, yeah, I think there's a, a lot, um, a lot more that we'd love to be able mm -hmm. to explore and, and see Josh uh, grow in um, as he uh, as he gets older and, you know, has his sort of coming of age moments on screen. So best foot forward was uh, dropped a few days ago on Apple TV plus one's next. What's next for you now? Like, uh, do you have any tours coming up for your, like your comedy, your motivational speaking? You know, so much going on. Uh, I uh, actually just by coincidence, I happened to have a book come out last week, the same week as the oh, show. Wow. Yeah. So it was a very busy week as you can imagine. Uh, but yeah, so I just wrote this book um, called semi-famous. That's like sort of part memoir and part investigation into um, mm -hmm into fame and celebrity culture and, uh, and internet influencer world, um, which, so that was really fun to write. And, and so, yeah, so I'm always writing more and, uh, you know, developing other entertainment projects and yeah, and I, my, my day job, I would say is giving motivational speeches. So yeah, I continue to, to travel to conferences and conventions and, and share my story in that capacity. That's awesome. Uh, Josh, Thank lastly, you. how can the viewers and listeners uh, find you on social media to keep up with you? Yeah, so I'm just my name at Josh Sunquist, um, you know, and on every on every social platform, if you start to, to type Josh S or so, you know, maybe get into Josh S-U-N-D or so, I probably will will pop up and people can find the show on Apple TV Plus, um, which is uh, available on anywhere you stream your TV. You can mm -hmm. find the Apple TV app. Uh, the first episode's free. You can get a free trial if you want to watch the whole season. So yeah, I hope I hope people watch and hope to hope to hear from your listeners and viewers after they do. That's awesome, Josh. Uh, thank you for giving me a few minutes today. This was great. Absolutely, my pleasure, Elias.